Hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you. Well, here we go. We are back again and let us have some good time. Uh, there is a, uh, one of the followers of the Abdul. His name is Tuiva Singer. Uh, he said, huh, huh, how come you don't debate Tuiva Singer? Huh? How come? How come your Skype is open when you, you know, like about Tuiva Singer? Then, you know, I just searched in the internet uh, for my videos about to a singer uh, no no Zachariah you are not a Muslim but you are an idiot and I will show you why first of all if you want to bring us somebody to talk about who can debate us at least get us somebody he know what he's talking about secondly bring somebody he is a believer not a fake Jew I can prove in two seconds that this man is a fake Jew. When they ask him, what do you think about Muhammad? He don't dare to say he's a false prophet. Correct, guys? If, if this guy is a rabbi, if this man is a rabbi, and he is sharing the truth, no problem. Okay, how come he don't dare to say Muhammad is a false prophet? I mean, what is the problem? How come you dare to say Christ is a fake Christ? But you don't dare to say the word that Muhammad is a false prophet. Then we have uh, to question how truthful he is. Because he is a Jew at the end of the day. You know, forget about what, what, uh, what you think about him, what you think about me. You ask me what Muhammad, what do you think about Muhammad? I would say he's a false man. If we ask this man about Muhammad, he will not dare to say he's a false prophet. And this is telling you the whole story, that this is a fake rabbi. You do not need even to, to debate about it. Why, why a rabbi will not say what he believes? I mean, who is holding him? What is holding him is he is a coward and he is a fraud. Right? As a Karai, he is showing us who we are. Let us see if this is true. Here we go in front of you. I, you know, first of all, you asked me why you don't debate him. First of all, your master is a coward. I sent him an email and I made it live. I went to his website. I sent an email and actually I found it in a Muslim, in a Muslim YouTube. And the Muslims are calling me all kinds of names. Look, look, look how the Muslims, they support the rabbi. <laughs> yeah. I mean, have you ever heard of a rabbi supported by Muslims like this? Obviously, because he's a rabbi. <laughs> I mean, you know, tell me who is your supporter. I will tell you who you are. I mean, do you see how much the Muslims calling me all kind of names? All those comments are made by Muslims. Not a single one is made by a Jew. Well, here we need to ask, how come the Muslims suddenly they became in love with the Jews? I mean, what happened? And especially this guy is a rabbi. You know what I mean? So... To, to to believe that this guy is a rabbi, you must be an idiot. He could not be bothered. So why are you are asking me to debate him, you coward? I mean, guys, look at this. The, uh, smile, smile, smile. Just to show you how, how hypocrite you yourself you are. Why you came to my chat and you said, why you don't dare to debate him? And now you are saying he don't bother. A second ago, you were debate, challenging me. Huh? He don't bother. What his time is about? Is it going to be fun to get the Christian prince bust busted? <laughs> My friend, from their fruit, you shall know them. So you asked me to debate him. I just showed you an email I sent to him 2016. In 2016, I sent an email live on air to this potato. Uh, today, our video about this uh, false rabbi who claimed to be a rabbi. Obviously, he grew up in Israel. 
and then for some reason I don't know some let us go here we I'm go Muslim. I will send the email etc oh, in other way I understand you see this is his email address this is my email sending to him you see let us let us zoom in his email here we go huh. just to show you is that his email is that a true email or fake email he's posting Do he dare to say yes? Until now, I'm waiting. Now, let us see who is a slow. This guy there in the... So, look, you know, you are coming to insult me. No problem. People will laugh at you. It's okay. By the way, I'm very slow. Yeah. I spanked them so slow. And you will feel... This is why you are calling me names, because you feel the pain. Now, let us get the Abdul Bastard. This guy now, he will explain to you the Bible... I mean, he is a truthful brother, and he is a rabbi, so he knew the Bible, and he speak Hebrew. Let us see. Alma is a young woman. Uh, uh, there is only one way, one way in both... Wait, 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 wait. Let's go back. Let's go back a little bit. <laughs> you know, when a liar, he tried to squeeze himself. Alma is a young, young, young woman. Uh, um, uh, okay, hold on, hold on, what, what, what does that mean? How, where do you get this from? Explain to us. And altered it in order to make it appear Christological. Uh -huh. So the Hebrew says, Hineho Alma Hora for your Ledes Bain, the Koras Shemai Emmanuel, which means, Behold the young woman. Alma is a young woman. Let us laugh together at this donkey. He's certified donkey, son of Muta. I will go to the. Uh, Website he use always. He himself he use. And he put it on his screen. This is the Jewish website. This is not a Christian website. Chad Chabad.org. Do you see it? This is the verse in Isaiah. This is their fake translation. Here we go. He, they are saying exactly as he's saying. How we can get them busted, we will do the same we do to Abdul. We go to the Hebrew, in the front of your eyes. This is the verse in Hebrew. I will copy it as it is in the front of your eyes. I will go to Prophet Google, peace upon him. I mean, this is a software. Why, he, why the software will lie? Do you think a software will lie? So we will copy it as it is in the front of your eyes. All right, let us be sure everything is highlighted. Okay, copy. And now we go to Google Translation. Watch. This is Google Translation clean, and we will pause the text as it is. Uh oh. Uh oh. Alma is a virgin. Uh oh. <laughs> I mean, even even Google Translation, which is a pure, you know, I mean, it's just a stupid software. Whatever word there is going to show you what the word means as it is a software. Do you see the word version? Why Google did not say young women? Now, if we go to the to the to Isaiah chapter seven, just to show you how stupid they are. I mean, they, their stupidity is amazing. In Isaiah chapter 7, the Bible is speaking about the Old Testament, speaking about a miracle. A miracle. So, if a young woman, she gave a child, where is the miracle? If the woman who gave a child, birth to a child, where is the miracle there? What happened? It's like, she's a young woman. All, all, all Israeli, they give birth when they are young. Jewish Orthodox, they get married. Women, they get women. They get married young. Not like now, they stay until they are 30 and 40 and etc. So what is the miracle there? It's a sign. Do you see it says a sign, guys? I shall give you a sign. What is the sign? The sign that a young woman will give a child that must be my mom. <laughs> guys, I must be the Messiah because because my, my mom, she gave birth to it. She, she was young too. This is a sign. There's millions of women, they give birth every day and they are young. So all of them, they are giving birth to the Messiah. 
When it says a word, a sign, it's mean a miracle. Sign, this is a sign. Something doesn't happen every day. How many Messiah you Jewish are waiting for? One. So how many signs we will have one? Only one of her kind that sign will be. So when the stupid, this guy, he says, they fabricated the meaning and we are laughing at you. We are literally laughing. Because if you say it's a young woman, then you destroy the whole verse. There is no verse and there's no miracle and there's no Messiah. Because all women who they are young, they can give birth. It says women. The second you say a woman, that means she have her ministration already. She's a woman. Young or not, doesn't matter. So there is a miracle will happen and that is a sign. And then you stupid, you fabricated false translation. But what about the Hebrew? You can go right now to any Jewish dictionary and search the word Alama, and you will find that this is the word which is about virginity, pure virgin young women. Where is the guy who came to me with this uh, to Eva Singer? We destroy him before we debate. And as you see, I did not even use you know, I just copy the text as it is, and I post it in Prophet Google piece upon him, and Prophet Google give him a bust. So, if we accept that the translation here is accurate, that a young woman she'll girl, she you know she will have a child, that means the one who wrote this verse is not truthful, because where is the miracle in this story? There is no miracle. Correct? There's no miracle then. That's mean Isaiah, according to, to Eva Singer, Isaiah is lying. A great prophet like Isaiah is a liar then. Because this is not what that will not be a sign. So my friend, always if somebody wanna come to us and he speak that he have knowledge. First of all, a person who have knowledge, he will be truthful, doesn't matter, he speak about what? This person, he attack only Christianity, for he is a coward. He don't dare to attack Islam. And look, just to show you how stupid those who support him from the Muslim too, by saying that Mary, she was not a virgin, he just exposed the lies of Muhammad then. But do he dare to say Muhammad lie? No, he don't dare. You see how coward he is? How double the standard? Because the Muslim believe that Mary, she was virgin too. You know what I mean? So how come he is so excited to fight the idea that Mary, she is a virgin when it's come to Christianity, but when it's come to Islam, he is a rabbit. Is it that this is a good question? You see, I am not against you as a Jew, but I am a person who say my faith. And you know, they come to you with many lies. As an example, uh, Jews don't believe in Jesus. Oh, no, no. Like the, the like this guy, he said, huh, the name Jesus is a Gentile name. It did not appear except in the New Testament. You, you coward liar. The word Yeshua is all over the Old Testament. It's all over. Each time the Old Testament mentioned the word salvation, it's saying Yeshua. Adonai has made his salvation known. Psalm 98.2 What is the word salvation there? And you know, you know, we, we made a video just uh, uh, how long ago? Uh, yeah, last last week where we showed you that the Bible the Old Testament specifically and the New Testament names names is not given for no reason names is about what the person will be will, will be or what he will do as an example uh, well, who, who is uh, Gabriel who is Michael 
who is uh, uh, Mush, uh, Mushe, you know, why he's called Mushe for a reason. Is the name is not a, just a name. Why Adam called Adam? Why Abraham called Abraham? So those are not names. So why, why Yeshua was called Yeshua? So when they say, or this guy, he say that name never appear in the Old Testament. We we laugh at him. If we go to Isaiah as an example, in the same book he's talking about, Isaiah 49. Actually, we can search here for the word salvation in the in this in this Jewish website, and you will see it. It appears at least 140 something time. So they lie. They say to you. You know, uh, you know, like uh, Jesus was not really popular, and uh, people don't believe in him. So who is the disciples, and who is that the thousands and thousands they were waiting for him in Jerusalem? Hmm? Who are they? So, you know, they flood you with lies and they cannot support them. And then they start saying, uh, in the book of Matthew, it says different from the book of Luke and the book of Luke is different from the book of, none of them is different. There are four books for a reason. So each one of them, he cover a part, which is not mentioned in the other part. Otherwise, why we need four books? Then if it's a copy paste, make it copy paste. Just one book. If I'm going to write word by word, in every book the same, then there is no need for four books. Four books are giving us four dimension of the story, not the three. For each he witness, as he witness, as he heard, as he said, as he been told. So always those people, they are fake people, they try to make a Christ lose the credit. And the reason for that, you know, most, I can say maybe 95% of the Jews are already Christians. You see, many Christians mistakenly, they, they think the Jews, they are against Jesus. My friend, no. The majority of the Jews are already Christians. And if not the Jews, then who is the disciple then? The disciples, the first people who believe in Jesus is the Jews. And because of their anger, you see, uh, uh, many of those fake rabbis, they have a lot of anger from Christianity because Christianity keep the number of Jews small. But in fact, we don't. We make the number of Jews grow. Because of Christianity, the Jews in the world, they got extreme support. Not the opposite. We don't hate the Jews and we would never hate them. But people like this or this man, he should be exposed by the Jews for he is really an insult to the Jews. I mean, how you can explain to me that someone like this, he prays Muhammad. There's a Muslim, he asked him, he said to him, uh, the, uh, based in the Bible, uh, 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 the Christian should say thank you to the Jews for killing Jesus. And he agree. Can you believe it? That there is somebody claimed to be a rabbi, he will do such a thing. You know, I find it very funny when somebody claimed to be what he claimed. And if I'm a person 
who don't have knowledge why someone like this guy he will not debate me I don't know anyway this guy is a potato and you do not need to be genius to find out if he is a truly a man he will say Muhammad is a false prophet he will say it right away as long you are brave but the reason he say Jesus is fake because he know that the Christian will not go after him they will not harm him, him physically right so are you covered are you covered to the point you don't dare to say it yes right however this person he do not present the Jews for us I know many of you get angry from this person but you don't present the Jews my friend the Jews the Jews is the disciples the Jews are Paul the Jews are Mark the Jews are oh, those are Matthew those are the Jews they are the one who brought Christ to you never make those people fool you and make you angry and or let us say you see we keep saying I love the Muslims so you know I mean how you can hate the Jews and then he starts lying that we have to make Mary as a virgin because that will will make Jesus have no sin. Hold, hold on, hold on, stupid. Since when? In which book? It make the baby, if he is born, he is sinful. In which book? In the Old Testament, and New Testament? Jesus, he said, if you don't become like the little ones, you will not enter the kingdom of my father. So the stupid idiot he think that if Jesus is born of Mary and Mary is not virgin, that will make Jesus not a qualified. But not to be qualified for what? I mean, if you as a Jew believe that the Christ, he is going to be a normal person. So why they don't make him a normal person, Christ? Okay. <laughs> if the idea is Christ. So the, 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 the logic is stupid. What make you sinner is you committing sin. Let us say Jesus was born of a married woman and from a man, normally like everybody, but he never commits sin. Still, he is not a sinner. What does this have to do with anything? And as you see, the second, the fake translation to English. I mean, why in Hebrew it says version, but in English it says young women? That exactly what Muslims do. Because in order to sponsor a propaganda I have, I have to fake the translation. Otherwise, we can open the dictionary and we can find what the word alama mean. And even when we copy the text as it is from the Hebrew, to Google translation, it come as a version, as we showed you. And by the way, such a miracle, nobody can prove it or disapprove it. I can say my mother, she gave birth to me when she was a virgin. So, can you prove it? No. Can you disapprove it? No. That prove nothing and disapprove nothing. But if you fake and fabricate the translation of Isaiah 714 you made Isaiah a liar because Isaiah saying that there is a sign it's a miracle so this accusation actually or this false translation is against Judaism not against us for if a woman she is young she gave a child that will not make her a miracle she is a woman. It says there, even in their, in their fake translation, it says a woman. Does it say a woman, guys? Isn't it, this is their fake translation? It says young women. So women, she have menstruation. That's what women mean. By changing the translation, you insulted Isaiah, and you accuse a prophet like Isaiah that he is a false prophet. In the top of that, you know, okay, this uh, this uh, a prophet or this let's say this Messiah is going to come on a donkey. You Jews are now going to the space. You still expect Jesus to come to you in donkey? 
What we will do with the donkey now? Are you in the year 2021 waiting for the Messiah, the true Messiah, to come to you? In the top of a donkey? Do you think you need a license to enter Jerusalem with this donkey? How many police will stop the coming Messiah if he enters Jerusalem with the donkey now? Are they going to allow him? <laughs> I mean, I don't know how. And you are waiting for the Messiah to come yet on a donkey. Keep waiting. You don't want to believe in him. Don't believe. No problem. <clears> oh, <throat> uh, you know, I made I made tons of videos actually. If you if you see the videos I made for this potato, I mean they are endless, and the coward don't dare even to answer one of them. We made we we know we uh, we we got busted like this guy. Uh, you know, this guy, this guy, this guy. I mean, all those. Uh, look how many videos, man. Look how many videos. This is all is my videos about this potato. He don't even dare to say, okay, I'm going to answer this guy. At least answer me. Don't debate me. And always you need to remember something. Look at the supporter of the person, then you will know his identity. If the supporter of Toriva Singer, not even of them is a Jew, they are all Muslims. Then how in the world that can work? You know, if you go in the Quran and we say, okay, how, why Toriva Singer, he like Islam? I mean, why Islam for him is not a problem? What is the, what exactly the target of this person? Why he, he never dared to speak negative about Islam? Do you know what the Quran says about the Jews? I mean, this guy, if he is a true rabbi, the number one target should be is to expose Islam. Look what the Quran says about the Christians and about the Jews. <clears throat> All right. Chapter 5, verse number 82. This is the Quran. The Quran says that the most people who are the enemy of Islam are the Jews. The strongest among men, among all men, with no exception, mankind in enmity to the believers would do find them find the Jews and the pagan so number one the Jews and the nearest among them in love to the believers is those who call themselves Christians what do you think so why is Toriva singer is defending Islam favoring Islam never attack never 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 he will never dare to say one word against Islam when the Quran teaching absolute hate against the Jews what Muhammad he said about the Jews do you know what Muhammad said about the Jews and this guy he knew but he is a coward he is a fraud he praised Muhammad was Muhammad a wonderful person the, the Prophet Muhammad, he called him Prophet Muhammad. Muhammad, he said, <clears throat> that judgment day will not come. 
until the Muslims attack the Jews. Until the Muslims attack the Jews. And what they will do then? The Jews, they will try to run for their life. The Jews will hide. And then the stones will scream, saying, Oh, Muslims, there's a Jew behind me. Come and kill him. So why to weave a singer is so much angry from a Christianity, but Islam for him nothing, no problem. He praised Muhammad, he respect Muhammad. He never said one negative word about Muhammad. What, the, what is the problem? The problem that he is a hypocrite man. He's a liar. Right? The one who is posting for me, Isaiah 21, how I can help you, my friend? What do you want? You went to the Bible and you searched in the Old Testament about donkeys and they got this verse? And? You know, always, always, uh, people they are stupid by nature I mean even if you go to the chapter you will see that this is the message of God to the people of Babylon this is thousand of years ago Babylon so the donkey horses the Christian prince <laughs> Oh boy. <laughs> oh, the one with the camel is Muhammad. Sad for you, my friend. Your prophet don't ride camels. Your prophet, he ride a donkey. Ah, this guy is trying to say to us, this is Muhammad. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So Muhammad was sent to the Babylon. Smile, my friend. I just took a selfie for you. Muhammad, my friend, he was sent to the Babylon and he was exist in the time of the Babylon. That's deep. That's very deep. Let me open the same uh, uh, translation you are posting for us. Just to show you, you are an idiot. Do you see the title? This is the same translation you used. Huh. This is the one you post for me, ESV translation. Do you see the title? <laughs> I mean, I do not need to debate you. That's it. Secondly, my friend, your prophet was a donkey man. He don't like camels, he don't ride camels. Each time your prophet, he ride, he ride a camel. Look what he, uh, sorry, a donkey. As an example, not limited. All the stories reported about Muhammad, it says, when I ride in the prophet, behind the prophet in the donkey, when he was, etc., with the donkey, etc. Let us read together. Uh... Let us see where, which one it says, where, what they are writing. Hmm. Uh, ta, 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 ta. I'm just trying to find the... Anyway, you will find all over that Muhammad always riding a donkey. And not to forget to mention that your prophet, he is here saying that the sun set in the murky water. Or the, the sun set and goes every day to put straight under the throne of Allah, which is obviously something stupid.
Huh? <coughs> Where is the hadith? But anyway, you get the idea. You know, the Muslims are so desperate to find their prophet in the Old Testament and the New Testament. Like when this guy he posed for us this verse, did he, he even he did read? I mean, they are copy paste people, you know. They don't even read. They are illiterate, like their prophet. Illiteracy is not about reading and 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 not reading. Illiteracy about stupidity. Did you read even the verses before it and the verses after it? Did you read even the verse before it, you idiot? Does it say the verse before it for the Lord? Say it to me. Say it to who? Go set a watchman. Let him announce what he sees. Your prophet was sent by Isaiah. Your prophet was the watchman. Crazy people. Uh, <clears throat> or when they say to you the name of Muhammad in Isaiah 42, that is even nicer. Muhammad is in the in the book of Isaiah. Do we have any Muslim would like to call me? Or do we have a singer like to call me? Anyone? Okay, I will open for Zechariah. Hold on, give me a second. <clears throat> All right, we are logging in Pelto. Text me, uh, Zechariah. All right, already he's text me, actually. Give me a second. <clears throat> Yes, Mr. Zakari, how are you? I'm good. How are oh, you? Baruch all right. Hashem. All right. So you are a supporter of Tuweva Singer, right? Uh, you could say that, yeah. What do you think about Muhammad? About Muhammad? Yeah. What do you mean, what do I think about Muhammad? What do you think about Muhammad? The question is very simple. It's kind of irrelevant. I'm not a Muslim, so... It's, well, exactly. Uh, so you are a Jew. So what do you think? Me. Aren't you a Jew? Yeah, I'm Jewish. Okay, so you as a Jew, what do you think about Muhammad? Like I said, Muhammad has no relevance in my faith or beliefs, so no, it's irrelevant. The, this is not the question. This is not the question. You see? That's the, the, are you, are no, you, no, 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 no. Are you, 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 are, no wait, 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 wait. are you a hypocrite? Are you a hypocrite like to weave a singer? You don't dare to say Muhammad is a it, false prophet? Listen, listen, listen. I Listen, you asked me a question, uh -huh. and I directly... And adequately answered your question. No, you're if you not. can't accept my answer, no, 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 no. You see, I am saying, you are saying he is irrelevant for your belief. This is another question. What do you think about exactly, him? Exactly, because I'm a Jew. Why? Okay, look, look, okay, okay. What how, do you think about come, Michael Jordan? So, if I ask you, what do you think about Jesus? He will say to me the same answer, or you will debate me. 
No, it's the same answer. Is it relevant to my faith? So what this, you are, so are calling me? Muhammad, so, what you are, so what you are calling me? Are you stupid? So what? What the point of this call? If you will not give me any answer and you will not debate okay, wait, me about wait, wait. anything, but let's listen, 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 I'm stupid. Listen, but listen, you're potato, the one who doesn't understand listen, why I call you. Listen, potato. Listen, potato. Listen, potato. How does that make sense? I said to you, call me. So supposedly you will debate me. But <laughs> now you are saying. <laughs> but but you. Uh, see, he's he's a Muslim. He's a Muslim. How am I Muslim? Because I speak Arabic, bro. Hebrew oh, and Arabic is the same no, language. No, no, it's not the same thing. You coward, son of Muta. <laughs> how is it not the same? Do you call okay. me to insult who, me? Who wait, wait, wait. Let me show you how low of an IQ you have. Who, 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 brother, who, brother, who, brother, who, okay, who, listen, listen, listen. Who, let me show you how much. Let me show you how much of a low IQ you have. You called me. I, you asked me a question. I adequately you text and intelligently you text me. answered your you question, said, and now you you're crying in the chat. You were, you were crying <laughs> in the chat. You were crying in the chat. You want to talk to me, right? And then I open Pastor. No, no, listen, 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 listen. What so, happened okay, is, listen. Okay. What, happened, what, what happened that you are a little girl, and you are afraid to be raped by the truth. The second we ask you a question, you don't want to answer. So why you are talking to me? To tell me what? To call me filthy words? Obviously, your mother was a very bad woman. What do you think about Muhammad? Because he's a Muslim. And he speaks Arabic. And he's an Arab. So he is playing that he is a Jew. So we will go and speak. He think he think we will go and start attacking the Jews. So the Christians and the Jews are fighting each other and we Muslims are laughing. We got you busted. Son of Muta. You are the one who texts me. I open my pal talk. I said, okay, guys, you want to talk to you? So I open and I find a text from you. I say, is that CP? So why you are texting me? You want to have a date? I don't do those things. You can call Safwan or you can call Yahya Al-Kalbi. Right away, he starts saying filthy words for me. The second I ask him, what do you think about Muhammad? In Arabic, all kind of filthy garbage words. Learn about those people. Why I hang up? Why I want to talk to you? You want me to call you back? Okay, I will call you back. <laughs> a second ago, you were crying. He says, you call to me. You know, you talk to me. I'm not going to answer you. It's irrelevant for what the question. So what we will talk about? You, are you going to tell your mom about what happened? Coward? All right. We have a Muslim. <coughs> no. Call is rejected. All right. Let us see the phone one. All right. But do you see how you can expose them, those liars? Never, never believe them. Get out of here, coward. I mean, how shameful you are to the point you hide your identity, claiming to be a Jew when you are a Muslim and you are an Arab. Get out of here. You have no shame. Zechariah, Isaac, Israel. You are right. I advise you to put the, stars of the star of David in the top of your forehead. <laughs> always when a Muhammadan he play a game the first question you ask him what do you think about Muhammad he did not expect me to ask him that question he wanted to play as a Jew always always test their lies lies in their blood he's a Muslim using a Jewish name, asking us why we don't debate, debate uh, to, to, to weave a singer. And then we go online, okay, you want to call me? Okay, call me. And then why I want to talk to you? Why I want to answer you? So what do you think about Muhammad? <laughs> it's irrelevant for my, uh, no, what, my belief. <laughs> what do you think about the Messiah? It's irrelevant for my belief. <laughs> so why you are talking about Tuvia Singer? Why you are listening to him? He's talking about irrelevant for your belief.
they are ashamed of saying, I mean, how much shame you have to the point you are hiding your belief. And what's wrong if you know, if, let us say for the sake of argument, you are a Jew. What do you think about Muhammad? You say he's a false prophet. What do you think about the Messiah? Hey, Messiah is not true Messiah. Okay. Very simple. But he would not dare to say that for he is a Muslim. So my friend, look what you did. We got you busted and we got this guy busted and all of you got busted nonstop. Right? In the chat, he was calling me uh, stupid, uh, a liar, a filthy, ignorant. When he called, when I called him, I said, "Okay, Mr. Zachariah, what do you want to say to us, Mr. Zachariah?" Then the second I asked him, "What do you think about Muhammad?" He said to me the, the all filthy words in Arabic, "Hooker, whore, etc." I mean, filthy, very trashy. I just asked him. I said, "Mr. Zachariah." Who is next? Hmm? Uh, CP cannot even contain him, himself with a kid trying to bully. What do you What do you mean? You want me to contain myself? This guy is a kid. Oh, okay, you must be a kid too. Get out of here. A kid, he have a beard, and he have a voice of a man, and he is a kid. Okay. <laughs> and let us say for the sake of argument, he is a kid. Shouldn't you teach him how to behave? And that's what we do. Potato. So now he's a kid. A second ago, he was a man. Are you a kid too? Look like all of you became underage, those who hate me. So what, do you want to play victim now? Do you know what Christian Prince did to me, what he did? I'm going to call the police for him. Or did he do something bad? Yes, sir, did they call something bad? <laughs> what is missing to say that you have kids from me? So those people, obviously, they are a fraud. You see, the, the second a rabbi, a rabbi should be doing what rabbi do. Let us say you are a Jew, and you are a rabbi. Okay, so the Messiah for you is a false Messiah. What about Muhammad? If you don't dare to say Muhammad is a false, false prophet, then you are no rabbi. You don't present any true faith, because a Jew is a person who don't believe that Muhammad is a prophet. Otherwise, you are not a Jew. Very simple. And all those fake people, they share one thing. They don't speak against Islam and actually they praise Islam. All of them. CP, I saw Zachary Naik official channel con commented on the previous stream. He said we should stop lying. Which previous stream? In my in in my uh, page, I will check it out. That would be a good video, actually. All right, I will check it out. <clears throat> Which one? What was the name of the video? The one yesterday or the in the morning? I did hide them both of them because I want people to watch the spider one. But we will put them back. <clears throat> Always, if you are a person who in the future will debate uh, Muhammadan or etc., you know, always put in your mind that when a person he call you, check out who they are. Can you at least show us a single math error in the Quran? I don't feel like believing Islam anymore. A uh, Hamudi, I mean, the whole Quran is a is a is a uh, is a mathematical er error. Because 
what mathematics have to do with what with, with Islam as an example when the Quran says that how to divide the inheritance <clears throat> how we can divide it how you can make that math math mathematic work it's impossible Read and laugh. I will give you a little uh, mathematic uh, uh, question, uh, Hamoudi. Let us say there's a man, he die and he have four wives, four sons, eight girls, and his mother, the mother of the man. And if I say to you, and he have a million dollars, I will make the number big, so you can easily work with the number. How you can divide this number according to this? However, the big number or small number still will be the same. So let us say it is $10,000. Who is the Muslim hero? He can call me and he can divide the $10,000 in such inheritance. Let us make it more simple. There's a guy, he die and he have his mother, his wife, two daughters, one son. You tell me how we can work this math. <laughs> oh boy. All the Quran is a book of stupidity. And actually, you see the verse we showed you about like the Jews and the Christians? How the Muslim, they say a Christian prince, he hate Islam. And then, uh, and don't take them as a friends. And if, if the Christians are the most people who love Muslims, according to the Quran. So why the Quran says, take not Christians and Jews as a friends? What is the problem? Stupidity? Somebody is stupid here. Anyway. <clears throat> It is Dora Emit Curry. I don't know who is this person. Let us see. <coughs> well, I don't know. People, they say to me, can you call? And then they reject my call. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Dora. <coughs> when this verse in the Quran says that the most people of enmity to those who believe in Allah is those who call themselves Jews and pagan and the most who love the Muslims are those who call themselves the Christians so why Islam says take not Christians and Jews as a friends any Muslim can tell me if we are the most people who love Muslims the Quran witness for that Why you cannot take me as a friend? Is the Quran contradicting the Quran? <clears throat> All right, let's call again. All right, friend, you see, you're making, are you, are you laughing? Are you, I don't know, I'm calling you. It says, here we go. I will show you. It says the call is rejected. 
what I would do, I don't know, either you are making fun of me or I don't know what to say. Here we go, call is rejected. It says rejected. Rejected. Which means you did reject from your side. So don't call me again, please. Don't ask me to call you. Let me block you. Please, you know, watch your language. Don't, uh, you know, there's no need to call him donkey. Uh, <clears throat> Please check it, check right now if you can, and talk about about it, because he also cited a surah and said we should stop lying. Or oh, what? What? Uh, Oh, you mean in the comment section? Okay, hold on. <clears throat> Actually, if, if Zach and Naik, he made a comment, as you said, in the comment section, then uh, we will make a video just about that comment. That's right. You know, we challenged this potato for a long time to debate us. And now he is making a comment and you are saying this is his official channel. Let me see. Okay, let's see if this is true. His official channel. No, my friend, this is not second A. This is somebody have a living uh, subscribers. I just check it out. Click at the name and you will find that this is, I don't know what make you think that this is an official channel of Zach and Naik. Zach and Naik have 11 subscribers. That's a lot, to be honest with you. Um, do we have any Abdul? <clears throat> Anyway, Torah, no problem. Maybe it's true. So, guys, people like this man who called himself Rabbi, he targeted Christianity and he don't dare to speak about Islam for very simple reason. He is a fake hypocrite man. A person who believe in a faith, he stand for his faith no matter he's speaking to who and how. If I speak to a Buddha, I will say to the Buddha, I don't believe in your belief. If I speak to a Hindu, I will say to him, I don't believe that Hinduism is a true belief. If I speak to a Jew, I will say to him, you are, you are not following the truth because the Messiah, he came. I will not change my belief depend on the person I'm talking to. But a person who called himself a rabbi, yet he defend Muhammad, who ordered the, the assassination of every Jew, the one who raped and he killed thousands of Jews, how we can believe that this person is a rabbi and yet he defend him? How we can accept that he is a rabbi, but the Muslims, they praise him? You will not find a single comment of the Muslims in the Toriva singer negative about him. How many times I told you, the day the Muslim, they will start saying to me, God bless you, that's me, Christian prince, is not a Christian prince no more. You know what I mean? When the enemy of the faith starts saying to someone, God bless you, how they are the enemy of your faith, and then they say to you, bless you, obviously there's something wrong with you. If you go to every single video of the Weaver Sangar, you will not find one negative. And you will find that all who call him are Muslims. What is the relationship? <clears throat> you tell me.
if I am a Jew, I will be very, uh, you know, I will be the first one to, uh, to expose Muhammad for the crimes he did to the Jews. <clears throat> uh, come to debate. A Muslim asking me to come and debate in a, in a chat room. Why you don't call me here? Here we go. He reject. <laughs> Guys, I called them. I, they say to me, come debate. I call them, they reject me right away. I mean, do you see how brave they are? Come and debate us. Coward. Pauline. Pauline. We call. Rejected. Huh. Brave. So brave. Which is that, man? And I'm the one who's a coward, supposedly? No, no, there's no problem. No, no problem. No. Or we talk to many people, what problem? <clears throat> Isn't it the guy, Zachariah, he just, he just called him three minutes ago? You forgot? You're like my grandfather, you know? Like, you know, you, you say to him, if you whisper to him, you say to him the word take, he hear it. If you say to him, give me, even if you are screaming, he said, what? Like, what? What you said? Give me 10 pounds. What? If you say to him, take one, take one pound. He said, okay, what it is? So what do you mean there's a problem? Zachariah, we just uh, talked to Zachariah. So here we go, the pal talk is working. Don't be like my grandfather, please. You hear what you want and you go deaf when you want. <clears throat> hey Hamudi, why you don't call me, my friend? You are asking me about the Quran. Do you like to call me, <clears throat> Hamudi? Why you don't call? Call me, so we can, you know, I can answer your questions about. Uh, about the Quran in Islam. There is a there is not a golden sentence. This is an amazing sentence in the Bible. From their fruits, you shall know them, not from their names. You can claim to be a Jew. You can claim to be a Christian. You can claim to be a Muslim. You can claim whatever you want. A person will be known by his fruits. If this person is a Jew, he say what Jews say. Is Muhammad is a prophet? He will say no. Very simple, no, he's false prophet, he's a liar. But to be brave to say that Jesus is false, and yet you don't dare to say Muhammad is false, obviously you are a fraud. Very simple. <clears throat> Son of knowledge, I do not know such a book. And usually I don't read English books anyway. Especially when they are talking about Islam, you know, because nothing they are to teach me. What they will teach me. Uh You don't know that Arab, they have good sense of humor? My friend, we don't have a good sense of humor. We have a good sense of humor. <laughs> what a humor. You must be kidding me. Go to the Middle East and then you will change your mind right away. In the Middle East, by the way, we are very friendly. I see those you know, people on YouTube. This guy is going to, uh, to Egypt. And Egypt is amazing. And the other guy is going to Syria. And the other guy is going to Iraq. And you know, they show you like in 15 minutes how beautiful the country. My friend. What they are showing you is far from the truth. They are like to weave a singer. <clears throat> if you open the borders, 
of USA for every person in the Middle East. Trust me, nobody will stay there for a day. Except my grandfather. <laughs> Who is dead already? <laughs> yeah, I mean, like... Uh, uh, and you know, one of the things about Middle Eastern... Doesn't matter, you know, I'm talking about talk about Muslim now. I mean all Middle Eastern in general. When you see you see a bunch of Middle Eastern, they sit together, they start like, you know, like man, America. <laughs> it's not good, you know. I wish now I am back home. Mm, yeah. Mm. So one day I was sitting with a bunch of those idiots and I could not take it no more. I said, So why you guys are still why you are staying here? So they said, What? It's why all, all those things is bad America, stupid America, garbage America. Why you don't go and take a flight right now and go home? So what are you talking about? So I'm talking about this is what you said. From the second we sat here until now, you there's nothing about but except the bad America. So why you are here? Why you apply for citizenship? And why you go and you make you pay money and you send a check and you do interview and then you pray, God, please make me get the citizenship. And then after you get the citizenship, America is bad. Hypocrisy is a, is a, is a lifestyle in the Middle East. And if you're a Middle East, don't be upset for me. You know what I'm talking about. I mean, they die to come to here. They die. And when they come here, they start spitting all over. If you are truthful, go home. Just go home. But they are not. All those who complain about the land of the Kuffar, so why you are here? This is the land of the Kuffar. If really the land of the Kuffar is bad, why you stay here? It's bad, go. Hypocrite. If the land of Saudi Arabia is better, go there. If you are from Jordan, go back to Jordan. If you are from Iraq, go back to Iraq. Go back to Syria. Go, go. <sighs> hmm. Anyway, anyone have a question? Anyone have a question? Any Muslim? No, my friend, Middle Eastern, even if you take them to heaven, they will complain. I will give you an example. If I take you right now to the heaven of Allah, and I am a Middle Eastern, so give you an example, okay? Allah, he made a perfect heaven for us. And this is the proof. <clears throat> I mean, how perfect heaven can be more than a heaven have women with big boobs? Hmm. What do you want more? Right now you are in heaven, and next to you there is women who have big boobs. What is missing? Heaven became perfect now. Perfect. Look, we have a grape. We have a grape. What we should have next to the grape? Big boobs. I mean, you see the connection? Alhamdulillah. Everything is perfect now. We are in heaven. Grape. You can get some from Walmart. And then you are sitting under the grape. And now next to you, there is women with big boobs. And then there is full cup. If, 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 if. To the brim. Look, look, look. The translator said to the brim. To where? To the brim, brother. May Allah brim you. I mean, what do you want more? Still they complain. And not only that. Allah will give you bracelet. How many of you wish to have a bracelet? Be honest with me. Bracelet of gold in one verse and the other verse, a bracelet of silver. Allah forgot what he said. Brother, look at look what you will have in the heaven. Look, look. Unbelievable. So now we have a grape. We have a cup full to the brim. Is it enough? No. We are in the garden 
and underneath of you there's rivers and you will be adorned with the bracelet of gold and you will wear a green garment made of fine silk and heavy brocade what do you want more? you got Gucci you have a Gucci you have a bracelet made in Italy you have women with big boobs you have a cup full of wine and have ginger in it which make it really stupid I mean have you ever heard of a god he promised wine with ginger hmm see people like me I'm Middle Eastern I'm complaining now what is missing where is the big screen TV where is uh, you know uh, uh, YouTube uh, where is the remote control where's the high-speed internet and what about the food the open buffet of there is no hummus there's no hummus there's no salmon there's no shrimp there's no crab the meat in the heaven is going to be bird so you spend eternity eating chicken chicken all your life eating chicken I mean why what I did to you Allah can't you add some like some more food to the menu we will spend our life eating chicken but be careful it is from as you wish <clears throat> which mean like the best of the chicken you know uh, all right well I mean you will have a fruit and you will have a bird meat to be honest with you it doesn't say if it's chicken or not but I mean it's a bird meat there's no fish there's no shrimp there is no uh, you know yeah look at this imagine yourself first of all you will be laying down on beds the translation is here here it says a throne it doesn't say throne my friend it says soror 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 in mauduna if you change the translator this is joseph ali you will find a new quran alhamdulillah thanks to satan Throne, this guy even he have a throne. Let us change to a different one. Hold on. And they, they are insisting with the throne the throne. They stuck with it. Let us see Big <clears throat> uh, The throne became a couches. I mean look how the how long the previous translation was and how short he is. Online couches. Reclining their in face to face. <laughs> <laughs> they their weight to them immortal youth it's their boys you know those boys who go around them who they and they have with them with bows and wares of cup pure spring okay where from they got no itching of the head nor any madness I'm, I'm just reading translation I'm not even making comment about translation and the fruit as they prefer what you prefer brother and then brother and the flesh of a bird as you desire <laughs> and then after that the girls so look first of all you have the kids serving you the, the, the wine now you have the meat and you have the fruit and now it's time for boom boom and there are fair ones with wide lovely eyes this, this is their translation fair ones what fair ones whole fair ones anyway like uh, uh, hiding pearls this is heaven 
Any Muslim have a comment? A small buffet in Las Vegas have way better food than the buffet of your Allah. <clears throat> Huh? Any small buffet. Actually, I like buffet in Las Vegas, to be honest with you. This is the only reason I like to go to Las Vegas. If I can right now, I will go. It's the buffet. But there's Corona now. There's no benefit of the buffet. The buffet is there is because, you know, the buffet there, they don't make money from the food. They make money from the gambling. And I don't do gamble. So they don't make money from me. I go, I eat their food and I say, ah, 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 ah. I ate your food for a very cheap price. So a buffet in Las Vegas is one million times better than the heaven of Allah. The funny even that Allah, he promised the Muslims that they, they will have clothing made in, 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 in Persia. Istabraq, which is like Gucci at that time. <coughs> is my pal talk is open? Yes, but I will close it now. There's nobody is, and I will go soon anyway. Let me close it, you remind me. Anyway, so guys, I think we have a good time together. And uh, remember one thing, from the fruit, you shall know them. Uh, will non-Christians go to hell according to Christianity? Yes, my friend, according to Christianity, non-Christians will go to hell. You see, a true believer, he is not shy or ashamed to say what he believes. This is what the Bible says. If you don't believe in Jesus, you go to hell. Very simple. Doesn't matter who you are. Even if you call yourself a Christian, because there's many, they are Christian by name. So you are a Christian, you are a Jew, you are a Hindu, you are a Buddha, you are an atheist. If you don't believe in Jesus the Messiah to save you, you will not go to the kingdom of the Lord. Very simple. We don't say things to make you happy. We don't. We are not going to be politically correct. We are not to weave a singer. Muhammad false. The rabbis are false. And no Jews will be saved except by Jesus. And no Christian will be saved except by Jesus. And no Muslim will be saved except by Jesus. And no Hindu, no Buddha, no atheist, no human being will be saved except by Jesus. You like it, like it. You don't like it. Wait for the heaven of Allah. What I can do to you. <clears throat> Any Muslim have anything? Do we have any Muslim? And yes, Islam is not Abrahamic. <coughs> Oh, Christian Prince, that is the biggest lie. Jesus said that there are people that call my name, but they don't know me. Give us the verse so we can expose my lie or your lie. Go ahead, Abu Potato. Give us the verse, the one you are talking about it. Those who call in my name and they don't know me. Give us, post the verse, post the verse. Just to be sure we are talking about the same thing. <clears throat> Actually, all the Bible from the first page to the last page, doesn't matter what, what, uh, what, uh, what uh, gospel you are reading. All of it is about, if you don't believe in Jesus, you are going to go to hell. All of it. No exception. <clears throat> This is why Jesus said, not everyone says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of my father, but the one who do his will. So many, they call him God. So you have to call him God. Jesus says, I am the door. I am the resurrection. I am the life. And nobody can go to the father but by me. That's it. Nobody can go. So when you say to me you are wrong, I don't know what you are talking about. You have look, uh, you have a, 
You have a fancy knowledge. <clears throat> Maybe you got your knowledge from Mickey Mouse magazine. Last call, do we have any Muhammadan? Hamoudi, why you don't call me, my friend, Hamoudi? You said you are thinking to leave Islam, what, right? Why you don't call me? <coughs> well, all the hadiths showing that Bilal was a, was a slave during, uh, during the life of Muhammad. And this is why uh, Bilal was asking Abu Bakr, To free him and he said to him if you bought me because remember he was a gift to Muhammad as I understand from Abu Bakr this is what they do they give a human being as a gift Muhammad he received many human beings as gift and they say to you Muhammad is against slavery Mary the court her cousins many he received in one day he received a bunch of slaves who they are Egyptian Coptic in one days. The whole family shipped to Muhammad. And Bilal is no exception. So Bilal, he was begging for his freedom, saying to Abu Bakr, if you bought me for, for yourself, keep me for yourself. If you bought me for the sake of Allah, then free me for the sake of Allah. And here you need to ask yourself a very simple question. The Muslim, they keep saying that Bilal was a promise to go to heaven. So why he is not being freed? And why this person have to beg for his freedom? Do you see it? Christians in the chat, how many slaves Jesus he have? Anyone can tell me the numbers? How many slaves Jesus he have? How many? Zero. Okay, how many slaves Paul he have? Peter, Mark, the disciples, how many slaves they have? Yet the Muslim they say that Christianity is not against slavery, Islam is against slavery. When all the caliphate and all the companion of Muhammad, including Muhammad, they were raping slaves, beating slaves, buying and selling slaves. while Jesus never owned one. So when the Muslims speak about slavery, all the evidence is the opposite. And even the Quran have a very satanic verses against those poor slaves. As an example, if you kill a black slave man, or even if he's white, as long as he's a slave, the Quran says, free for the free, which means white man, the white Arab man, for the white Arab man. If a white Arab man killed, an Arab white man will be killed. What if a slave was killed? A slave will be killed. But why a slave will be killed? It's not the slave who killed him. What about we kill the one who killed the slave? No. If a slave was killed, you kill the slave of the other guy, one of his slaves he owned. Chapter 2, verse 178. All who you believe in the law of equality and prescribe to you, in the case of murder, remember this is murder, which means unjustified killing. Free for free, slave for a slave, women for the women.
how this can be from God. You tell me. Muhammad, he heard that Musa, he taught the law eye for an eye. But what does this have to do eye for but what does this have to do with eye for an eye? So if I kill if you kill my wife, I kill your wife? What about you? So now we have two victims. If I kill your slave, you kill my slave. So now we have two victims. And the killers are having coffee. Yeah, the Bible says with, in, in, with Jesus, there is no Greek, there is no Hebrew, there is no free, there is no slave. Correct? There is no free, there is no slave, for all is one. By who? By the name of Christ. <clears throat> uh, your God was a baby. Okay, my God was a baby, but yet in the Quran it says he was a pure, holy, and he is a holy son. And yet he did miracles when he was a baby. Your prophet was 40 years old, and yet he tried to commit suicide. <laughs> my God was a baby. Well, the Quran says that my God, okay, explain to me. How you are saying to me, my God was a baby, and the Quran says that Jesus, when he was one hour old, one second old, he was talking. Explain to me how this happened. Here we go, I'm listening. That actually proved that Jesus is God. He's born with the language. <laughs> Where did he learn the language? According to the Quran, Jesus, he did not say, Mama, Baba. Right away, he said, I am uh, Jesus, the Messiah. Come here. Are you making fun of the Quran? In my present? Is that your Quran? Chapter 19, verse 29. But she pointed to the baby. Who is that baby? Jesus. They are making fun of the baby, right? Okay. They said, how can we talk to one who is a child in the cradle? <laughs> Crazy. You know how we can do that? <laughs> how we can do that? Then Jesus, right away, he spoke. He said, I am indeed the servant of Allah. He has given me revelation. Where did he give him the revelation? Why Muhammad? He waited 40 years. And then the angel, he come, he squeezed him. And then after he squeezed him, Muhammad is still, he don't understand. While Jesus, he is born and he have revelation with him already. When the Muslim, they insult Mary and they say, oh, or they insult Jesus, says, Jesus was inside Mary. Okay, the revelation of Allah was given to Jesus when he was inside Mary. Any Muslim? Where Jesus he received the revelation? And where is Jibreel in the story? How come Jesus do not need Jibreel? Why Jibreel did not come and squeeze him and say to him, read, squeeze him again. He said to him, I do not need to read you, idiot, I'm a child. You see, Jesus did not say, I do not know how to read. You still alive, the Abdul who came to insult Jesus? You see, we got you busted from your book. Have fun. Even in your book, Jesus is holy. What we can do with that? Look, this is your Quran and this is your translation. It says, The Spirit of Allah came and said to her, I am a messenger from the Lord to announce to thee the gift of a holy son. Do you see it? The Muslim, they try to insult Jesus saying, well, if Jesus is God, how God can be born of a vagina? Excuse my language. Well, I can ask you the same question, how he is a holy son according to Allah, yet he is born of a vagina. 
Answer Allah. Here we go. Allah is answering you. How you can call a person who is born of a vagina holy? I thought vagina is dirty because it's what you are trying to imply. You are trying to say to us that if Jesus is born of a vagina, that will not make him holy. So how you Quran says he's holy? Hello? By the way, as long as we are talking about fake rabbi <clears throat> and Muhammad, let me show you a story about a rabbi. The Muslim, they say he's a rabbi. I don't know. This is what they say, I mean, what they can do. This is Sahih al-Bukhari. According to Muslim, by the way, somebody can, might ask, like this guy, he was a Jew, so how his name is Abdullah. Those people, they changed Muhammad. He forced them to change their names after they became Muslims. They start calling Muhammad and Ahmad and Abdullah, etc. Because they used to have, you will notice at all those who have a Christian names, Jewish names, their names disappear. So Abdullah ibn Salam, obviously this is not his name. He went to him and asked him about certain things. Ask who Muhammad? He said, I'm going to ask you about the three things which only a prophet can answer it. I mean, look how deep this barbecue. The guy is telling him only a prophet can answer it, but he knew the answer. I mean, have you ever heard of a stupid story, stupid author like Muhammad? Muhammad saying he's a prophet. And now an, a Jew is coming to him to ask him a question. And the zoo, he says to him, I will ask you a question. Nobody knows the answer for it except a prophet. Uh -huh. And later you will find out that the guy, he agreed with him, which means he knew the question, he knew the answer. So he was a prophet too. <laughs> Look, does it say which only a prophet know the answer can answer? Hmm. Okay, what is the questions, the quiz of death? He said, what is the first sign of the hour? See, this is the quiz of the prophet. What is the first food of uh, what people will eat in paradise? The Jews believe that when you go to paradise, you eat food. So which, which verse in the Old Testament says that? Who, who want to educate me? Hey, Muslims. Hey, Jews. Anyone can correct me? We're in the Old Testament. <laughs> Why does a child attract similarity to his father or his mother? Why? Okay, why the child look like his parent, like his mother or his father? Why? And now Jibreel, sorry, Muhammad, he said, Jibreel has just now informed me. I mean, do you see how fast? Right away. By the way, it's not right away. This is supposed to took some time for Muhammad. He went home and, you know, so Zibril, he, you know, he just informed me. So all information now we heard is going to hear after is Muhammad saying as Allah taught him through Jibreel. And then Ibn Salam, he said, Jibreel, the enemy of the Jews. <laughs> Why Jibreel is the enemy of the Jews? Since when? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm telling you, one day I'm going to die just laughing. It's a good die, by the way. Actually, I have a relative. He died in the movie. You believe it? Uh -uh. He was laughing. He died. People, they stand up to leave. The guy is dead. Dead literally from laughing. It was a comedy movie. So he died laughing. He had a heart attack. Uh <laughs> so he, the enemy of the Jew, uh, the, the, the Jews among the angel the prophet said as for the first sign of the hour will be the fire who collect people from the east and the west if you go and check Muhammad how many times he mentioned the signs of the hour you will find how much contradiction according to this story the first thing is the fire the first thing okay and then as for the first meal in the paradise, they will eat the loop of the of the whale liver. You know, 
uh, this is called in Arabic Ambar. If you search the word Ambar, you will find that this is, or Ambar in English, I think, uh, like the deer have the same, uh, it's a chemical material, the, the whale have it, which is people, they for, for long, they believe it's help you for sexual activities. As an example, the deer, uh, by that amber, he uh, attract by the smell the female deer. So the Arab, they learn about, uh, I mean, or they say there is a, uh, you know, from their heritage, this is not, not from Islam really, but from their heritage, that the amber, this is why it's very expensive. You know, when, when, a, when a whale, he die, they cut him, he they take that part, and it have a very nice smell and they said for very expensive uh, a lot of money not just for the smell because it's very good supposedly for sexuality so Muhammad is a promising them or saying that the first meal you will eat because you have to get ready for sex you know um, the, the point but don't you want to get ready for boom boom so before you get ready you have to take the Vi Viagra so this is about the Viagra so the first meal is the it's not the fish liver it is the whale amber and then it says <clears throat> and as for the child the, if the man discharge proceed the women discharge the child will will, will look like the man which means he will be a boy adhkar in different how it says adhkar which means will be a male will be a male and here you notice that muhammad for sure is a prophet because this is who jibril told him jibril told him if the man have orgasm first, the baby will be a boy. And if the women discharge, proceed, the man, the child attract the similarity to the women. Which is true. If you think about it, you know, if you, maybe you should do this if you are married. Uh, from now on, you know, like, uh, but I don't know how you know which night. Hmm. Let us say you do this from now on. Huh? Uh, for the coming uh, six months, never have orgasm first. You agree, like either you or your wife. So if the child resembles the mother, that's me, Muhammad is right. <laughs> if she is the one, have an orgasm first. <laughs> this is Sahih al Bukhari and the admin, Karain. She is posting for you the link. Yeah, this is science. This is true. You know? Yeah. Uh, any Mohammedan, anything? Yeah, and this is, and then after he asked him the question and Muhammad, he answered all the questions correctly. The Jew, he said, I testify that none has the right to be worshipped except Allah and you are truly a messenger Look, hold on. You told the guy, nobody knows the answer for it, save a messenger. So how you know the answer yourself? Are you a messenger of Allah? <clears throat> uh, Cherry Jam saying, shouldn't Christians take Sabbath seriously? My friend, uh, maybe you have wrong understanding of Sabbath. Anyone knows what Sabbath mean? What Sabbath mean? What the word Sabbath mean? Let us put the question here of our friend on the screen. <clears throat> Before you speak about if we should take something seriously or not, first of all, we take everything seriously. But shouldn't we know first what is Sabbath? What is Sabbath? Can you answer me a chair, a cherry, chairer? Sorry if I'm saying your name wrongly. As you know, English is not my first language. Any day, any day, you design, or let us say, you decide to make it for God is Sabbath. Holiday is Sabbath. Holy day. Which means any day you make it for God is Sabbath. Sabbath is not Saturday. Sabbath is any day is designated to God. 
So you can make like, okay, to, uh, to, tomorrow is what? Tomorrow is, is Sunday. You can make tomorrow, you can make it Sabbath. Monday, you can make it Sabbath. Tuesday, you can make it Sabbath. Sabbath is any day you decide to give it to the Lord. And all the days belong to the Lord. So all the week is Sabbath. Now, when if we speak about how the Jews been ordered to, protect, to, to preserve the Sabbath, you see the Jews, uh, it's not a secret, they love to make money. And they were they have slaves and they have servants. And you know, in the old testament, you will see if somebody is poor, he can even rent himself and his family as his slaves for up of seven years. In those seven years, your master it's like a contract. This is a slavery, like you do it willingly. You you borrow money from somebody, you cannot pay him. I don't have money. Okay, then you have to work for me. The maximum it have to be seven years. In those seven years, you have to work full time for this man. They want you to work seven days a week. Please don't make fun of the one who asked the question. There's no need for that. So <clears throat> they want you to work seven days a week. So God, he made the Sabbath as an order to preserve for you, not for him. What Jesus said, Sabbath was made for the man, not the man was made for Sabbath. Correct, guys? So the purpose of the Sabbath, God do not need Sabbath. You see, when the Bible says that God, he created the earth and the heaven, etc., and then in the seventh day, right? That was an example for us that you don't live just to survive. There's a day for me. I'm your Lord. I have that day designated. But it is not God who needs the Sabbath. It is you who need it. So if you go to Mark, you will find it says, and he said to them, because the Jews, they were asking him, why why your disciples and why you, you are doing uh, such an act? He was doing miracles. They were doing things and, you know, it's Sabbath. So the Jews who they are Jews and they are rabbi, obviously they understand what Sabbath is. But in the same time, they got the Sabbath wrong. Jesus was correcting them. He said, and he said unto them, Sabbath was made for the man and not the man for the Sabbath. Therefore, the Son of Man is the Lord, is, is Lord also of the Sabbath. And here Jesus confirmed that he is God again. He is saying, I am the Lord of the Sabbath. And I do as I wish. And this Sabbath is not what you think. It's not made, it's not really made for God as much it's made for you. God do not need to rest. Even in translation it says that God he rest. Rest mean he like complete, everything is finished. So wrongly, people they understand. This is why you know you see Jesus always correcting the Jews about their belief. It's not what go, what's not what go inside your mouth will make you dirty, but what come from your mouth. But the Jews, you know, they have the Old Testament saying clearly you cannot eat this and you cannot eat that. Are they wrong? No. But it's still they, you know, they did not understand that this was for their benefit. So when when the Old Testament forbade the Jews from eating like pigs, swine, that was for the benefit because pigs, they eat anything in their way. They go in the field and even they eat dead animals. At that time, if you go and read in, you know, in the Old Testament or in the New Testament, you will find that when people, they crucify them, they throw them in the garbage. They throw them. There is an area behind the, uh, the area of the crucifixion. It's called Jahannam. Jahannam. This is the Muslim they use for, for, for hell. So they, they cast the dead bodies in that area. And imagine this is the time of the Roman, the war, you know, they crucify people, they hang them, they throw them, they cut their head, they cut their hands, savage time. So pigs, they eat anything. 
they eat dead animals they eat grass they eat anything so when the Bible says don't eat that because of a reason uh, it was for your benefit for your health it's not for the benefit of the pig and not for the benefit of God God he created the pig so uh, uh, everything have a reason I, I, like you will notice that animals who don't sweat are forbidden camel is forbidden rabbit because rabbit he you know like the Muslim they make fun of the rabbit they says oh in the Bible it says that uh, I forgot the word in English like he 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 re swallow like you know the cow the fact the the what the Bible is saying that the rabbit when they do poop they poop two kind of poop one which is poop really which means it's gone is it is for garbage and one which is food they will eat later that is not used yet so there is animals who don't sweat who if you eat them they can be causing her the problem and there is diseases and there's illness otherwise why God will care about if you eat a pig or not you know what I mean I mean what what is that I mean you you, you eat we are we are designed in order to survive to eat and we are designed to eat vegetables meat you know I mean we are designed this way so why I will limit you from eating it was for your benefit <clears throat> Any other question? You see, the Messiah is way more deep than the shallow, uh, the shallow rabbi. The rabbi, they were shallow. They followed the word letter by the letter. And many of us, we do that. Can we eat pig now? If you ask me, pigs are not really healthy, even now. Because uh, still they don't sweat. I just told you, the Bible is giving you, is telling you not to eat it for, for your health. It's not for God's health. So, but what if you are hungry? What if you are poor? You eat it. But if you ask for the most healthy food, then pigs is not the most healthy. Are you getting the point? It's like today, uh, should we eat, uh, you know, uh, uh, fruits? It will, is a fruit forbidden? No, but there's all, all of us we knew there's for root, they are adding fertilizer to it, nothing organic there. Which one is better? The organic for sure, right? So it is not about what is forbidden, it's about what is healthy. Uh, Brock saying pigs are healthy as cow, that's not true because pigs don't sweat. You see, if you don't sweat. Sweat is a poison. Sweat is a poison. And that will stay in your body. <clears throat> uh, bacon is very healthy. No, it's not very healthy. It's very tasty, maybe. <laughs> anyway, it's not going to kill you. But you see, I'm telling you at that time, People, they can die because of those animals. Why? Because they eat anything. They can transform diseases, they can, etc. So there is a reason. Otherwise, any food can be not healthy. Any food, if the animal is infected. But generally speaking, pigs, they eat anything. Which means if they see a human, they will eat him. He, for them, he is just a dead body. He is a dead animal. Uh, <clears throat> anyway, uh, the Bible says clearly that it's this is not really, uh, you know. I mean, all food is is 
is a blessing from God. However, I believe still, me myself, I eat pork. But I eat it not because it is the most healthy food, but if I go to buy beef, it's very, very expensive. If I go to buy one pound of lamb, as an example, how much it is? Nine dollars, ten dollars? Well, you can get the, 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 the pork for... So, which one is more healthy? For sure, the sheep is more healthy. Sorry if my stomach is making noise. You know, I'm kind of hangry. Uh, <clears throat> anyway, you know, uh, don't focus on those things. This is a health issue. It's up to you. God is way higher than a, a dish you eat. It's not a dish will make you a bad person or a good person. Don't be shallow. Don't be shallow. Let us say you eat exactly as in the book. That doesn't make you still good. <clears throat> uh, how do Christian pray? There is a ritual like Salah and Christianity. Well, you know, yeah, for sure, if you go like, you know, if you uh, go to traditional churches like Orthodox or Catholic, they have a tradition. But prayer in Christianity have nothing to do with the tradition. It have to do with you praying to the Lord. The Lord, he said, when you pray, go to your closet. Closets mean your private room. Close your door on you and pray to your father. You do not need to show yourself to people. So a church is a place where people, they gather to share the gospel together. But when you pray, the best place to pray as a person is when you are alone. Because first you are not trying to show people that you are praying. You are not trying to receive like a, a credit from the people around you. Like, hey, look, you know, look at me. Uh, I'm praying. And this is why actually Jesus, he speak, and you know, if you read the Bible, you will see Jesus as if he's speaking about the Muslims today. You know, the Muslim today, uh, they, they are very much the same as the hypocrite uh, rabbi in the time of Jesus. When they pray, they pray in the corners. When they pray, they want to show off. Like they find the corner of the street, why in the corner? So people will see them from four directions. Nothing is hidden. They want to show everybody. If you go to Matthew, chapter 6, verse number 5 and 6, and you can read the one before and after. And when you pray, you shall be not, uh, shall not be like the hypocrites, Listen carefully, hypocrites. For they love to pray standing in the synagogue and on the corners of the street. You will see the Mohammedan making a long line just to show off, or a guy, his taxi driver, he put in the rag in the top of his car. So people from two or three hundred, four hundred meters away, they can see him. So don't be like those hypocrites who pray in the synagogue standing. They don't want to sit even because they want everybody to see them. And or they pray in the corner of the street that they may be seen by men. This is the target of this prayer. They don't want really to pray. They are trying to be seen. This is their purpose. Assuredly, I say to you, they have their reward. Their reward is to be seen. Okay, they've been seen. They are praying to God. They are just they want to show off. But when you pray, go into your room, and when you have shut your door, pray to the Father, to your Father, who is in secret place, and your Father who sees in secret will reward you openly. I mean to that. So ritual is not the purpose of a prayer, my friend. 
speaking to the Lord is the purpose. In Islam, it's the opposite. In Islam, it is a routine. It's a duty. It is there's a certain time, and you, if you miss it, you are in trouble. In Christianity, that is false. God don't want you to be forced to pray. God, He like to hear from you. To speak to Him, when your heart feel like it. If I go with you, if I visit you, if I sit with you, you will not even see me praying before the food. I say, like I don't even move my, move my lips. I pray in my heart. Why I want to show everybody that I want to go into pray? There's no need. I can say, hey, our Father, out of heaven, etc., in loud voice, and everybody in the restaurant will hear me. So there is people who pray to show, and there is people who pray to pray. So if you are interested to pray to the Lord, my friend, Hamudi, you do not need to follow rituals. You need to follow your heart. For God the Lord, He can hear you. The Lord, he says, even every two of you mention my name, I will be between them. I will be the third. Church prayer with, with, with fellow Christians is just to, let us say, uh, uh, you know, to share the gospel together, to share the happiness together, to share the word of God, and uh, to, to give even emotional support. People need it. Uh, but Prayer is to the Lord is something very special. Is you speaking to Him? You. And the more you are praying from your heart, the more your prayer is received. If you are just a person who is making a prayer because you like to be that those in the in the verse in front of you, you want to be hypocrite, huh, you did not pray at all. Your prayer is a is a is a fake. You're fooling yourself. <clears throat> but doesn't mean you cannot pray with your friends. You cannot pray with uh, a fellow Christian. No, you can. As long as the purpose is from your heart. You see, Christ is against shallow thinking. The Jews, they were shallow in understanding the Old Testament. So the mistake was not in the Old Testament, it was on their understanding. They think that following the text word by word as a law is what is important, not what it's meant. Like now, you know, a Muslim, he says, uh, I want to fast Ramadan. But do they fast Ramadan? They don't. Ramadan is not a month of fasting. Ramadan is a month of eating. They eat way more than a normal month. The food price in Ramadan go crazy. Why? Because they are eating more. You see, if everybody fasting, Price will drop for food. In Ramadan, price food go crazy. Why? Because the demand is so high. If everybody stop using gas, gas price will become almost for, for zero. Nobody will buy it for a penny, because nobody wanna, nobody will use it. Always demand is what decide what the price will be. If you go right now and search in the internet about price food in Ramadan, you will see how the prices go so crazy. So why, why it's going crazy if they are fasting? They are not fasting. They are eating more. 
in the month of Ramadan they start buying expensive food cooking all day eating all night so all what you do you switch between eating time between day and night right <clears throat> uh, Faiz Hussein saying let us see what Faiz is saying let us put it in the screen thank you Faiz for the question all right Mr. Faiz is saying can you guarantee your spot in the Lord Kingdom since you call yourself a Christian it's not me who guarantee my spot as you call it it's the Lord who guarantee it so the guarantee is in the hand of the Lord and the Lord he promised that whoever believe in me and die will live live where in his kingdom so the one who guarantee is the Lord not me and our Lord is not a liar he keep his word and he keep his promise however you as a Muslim you are not guaranteed to go anywhere except hell the Quran says وَمَا مِنْكُمُ إِلَّا وَرِدُهَا not even a single one of you but he will enter hell this is your Quran <clears throat> what will happen to the Muslims in the in the you know in the day of uh, judgment according to the Quran every single Muslim he will enter hell now the Muslim they start giving you like their own they try to solve the problem some they say uh, your feet will go in hell depend like depend on how sinner you are like if you are a sinner too much you will go like maybe to your uh, breast if you are less a sinner you will go to your knee like you will be burned in certain area uh, so but it's guaranteed that all of you are going to go to hell that is in the chapter of Maryam verse number 71 so the reason you know when you when you say to me you guarantee uh, I wonder how a Muslim he asked such a question when he, he believe that every one of you and look the translation says none of you but will pass over it where it says where is the word pass over it says wariduha wariduha mean he will enter it not a single one of you but you will enter hell if we go right now and see the interpretation, let us do that. Again, chapter 19, verse number 71. <clears throat> I remember I'm showing you your Islamic interpretation, not mine. Read carefully and you will see how they lie in the translation. There is not one of you but shall come to it which mean hell that but shall enter hell do you see it what is the guy who asked me the question do you see it my friend so yes you shall enter hell you as a muslim every single one of you And actually, Muhammad, he make it even more funny and more difficult for you to be a Muslim. Why? He made it so easy to be a Muslim. In the same time, he make it stupid to be a Muslim. Like just say Shahada, you are a Muslim. But if you think about it, Muhammad, he made it clear that who is going to go to heaven? What is the chance of a Muslim to go to heaven? Let us see what Muhammad said.
Read carefully. This is your prophet talking, not me. So don't blame it on me. You're a prophet, he says. The Jews will split into 71 sect, which will be, and one which will be in paradise. So the Jews will be what? 72 sect, and one of them will go to paradise. The Christian will split to 72 sect. 72 sect. One, 71, which will be in, 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 in hell. So only one will go to heaven. All right. And then he said that my people will be 73 sect and one of them will go to paradise. So your chance as a Muslim, according to Muhammad, to go to paradise is way lower than someone he is a Jew or he's a Christian. You are the last one actually to have a chance to enter. According to Muhammad, Muslims are way more lost than the Christians and then the Jews and the, the, the hate in front of you. Do you see it? And here you ask yourself, Muhammad, he says only one sect. It's a sect, not individual which is very silly because if you say a sect are going to go to heaven that's mean whoever belong to that sect will go to heaven but in the same time you are saying to us that the majority are going to go to hell because the percentage is 73 to 1 do you see it the majority of the Muslims will go to hell, and your prophet saying that. And when you say a sect will go to heaven, that is stupid too. Let us say I'm a person who believes in sect, but which I don't. I don't believe in sect. I don't believe that there is a group who they are, let us say, a Protestant, they will go to heaven, or Catholic, or Orthodox. I believe whoever believes in the Lord from his heart, he will go. It's the Lord who decides who will go individual. As he said, from their fruit, you shall know them. But when you say a sect, how that can be true? How the whole sect are good to go? And how the 72 out of 73, they will go to hell? And why Muhammad, he stuck with the number 70? Obviously, he's making it up. I mean, what happened? Like 71, the Jews, 72, the Christians, 73, the Muslims. What is that? I mean, what is what a coincidence? Is it a coincidence or <laughs> plan? All of us, we stuck with number 70, 71, 72, 73. Uh, Abu Bakr, he said, Wallahu la aman makrallah. I don't, I'm not secure from the deception of Allah. Even if my foot, one of it is inside heaven. <clears throat> Any Muslim have a comment? He don't trust Allah, even if his foot, one foot, is inside heaven, because Allah might betray you. You're going to trust Allah. Some they say the one who says that is Omar, some they say Abu Bakr. Eh. They bent. Do we have any Muslims saying, want to say anything? Hmm. <clears throat> Let's find first the statement of uh, Omar. 
I don't know if we can find it in the English website, but I don't think so. Yeah, it can't be found. <clears throat> and by the way, they are reporting the story, like whoever say it, like Omar, sometime he said that, and sometime Abu Bakr he say, but Abu Bakr he claim that uh, uh, Muhammad told him that. Right? Let me see if I can't find you. Because remember, those those uh, campaign of Muhammad, they are they don't say things from their own. They say what they heard from Muhammad. Uh, let me try to find. I'm just trying to find like some website which is official. Actually, I found a book, but this is Google Books, which you cannot use Google Translation. See here? Uh, let me see the other one. Hold on. Uh, this is the book of Asir Alam al Nubala, variant number five. Uh, seventeen one, Google Book, and here it says, "فهو مغرور قد آمن مكر الله به." But you know, anyway, this is like here. I'm trying to find the exact story. Hmm. Here, this is the uh, the uh, the interpretation uh, of Al Imam Ibn Al Hasan Al Shadiri, and here it says that Abu in Abu Bakr Al Sadiq, رضي الله عنه, يقول, والله لا آمن مكر الله ولو كن ولو كانت إحدى رجلي uh, I, 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 I will never trust Allah, the deception of Allah, even if one of my foot in heaven. But as you see, this is Google book. You cannot translate. You cannot, you know, click in it and use Google translation. So I need to find something out of Google books. Um, <clears throat> Let us give it more a try. Let's see. Okay. Anyway, we can find you a verse from the Quran which is, is support the same story. If we go to the Quran, you know that I have a book, it's called The Deception of Allah. The whole book name is Deception of Allah. If you go to chapter 7, and this is why Abu Bakr is saying what he is saying, that I, you know, those who, who feel themselves secure from the deception of Allah, no one feels secure from the deception of Allah except the losers. If you see the Muslim translation, you see, look, this is the Muslim translation. 
This is not even mine. Never feel secure with Allah. Only losers, they will feel secure. <clears throat> Uh, are you tired? Uh, you know, I went today how many time online? Three time? Three time, right? And each time like well, an hour or something, or I don't know. Yeah. But it's not uh, tired, but nothing exciting. You know, guys, you are not giving me, you are not getting me customers, what I would do. <clears throat> right? Uh, <clears throat> you see this is one of the difficulty I always face when I am teaching about Islam because I have to find in English otherwise you know you will not get the answer you know and when I start doing this long time ago there was no I mean those websites they were not there uh, translation of any hadith was not there I mean we used to have zero everything i have to translate myself and i have to convince people that i am honest in the translation like now we are lucky we have the muslim translation we can change between it there's many translation we have uh, uh, sahih muslim al-bukhari many other books in english already translation is false sometime we copy the, uh, the text in arabic to show you and we post it in google uh, so it's a lot easier than before before it was really very very bad and the, always the Muslims before they used to say, oh, he's lying to you. How do you know he's giving you the correct translation? Right? <clears throat> um, if you remember uh, what, what their name, uh, the Fifi Mimi, uh, Mimi Hajubi, he said to me, Christian Prince, where in the Quran it says uh, you have to worship Jesus? Hmm? He said, read it, read it, read it. Look what you can do. <clears throat> I will show you an easy trick. How to expose them when they lie and they say it doesn't say that. <clears throat> there is a Muslim website I'm trying to find it How Muhammad became a leader. Muhammad, he was a leader when he arrived to Medina already. He have a group of people who 70 people supposedly, according to Muslims, they believe in him already. So he's their leader. He did not become a leader later. He was already, they took their slaves with them, 70 people, including the slaves. <coughs> uh... I'm just trying to remember which website. Man, I forgot. But it's very, very easy method, you know. Let us see.
All right. <clears throat> Was Muhammad already bad in Mecca or become bad after Medina? He's bad all the time, but you know, he uh, like people they show you their true color when when they are strong, not when they are weak. You know what I mean? Like as an example, when you are when you are rich, you have many friends, right? When you became poor, nobody want to talk to you. What happened? They were bad before, and they became. I mean, they were good before, and they were bad after. No, nothing changed except that you lost your money. So Muhammad, when he was weak, uh, he was uh, he, because he can, he was weak. What he can do, right? What they can do? Yeah. Uh, there is a website. Which website? I'm trying to find the website. I forgot the name. Is it Quran.com? Let us see Quran. Let us see. I, I think so. Yeah. Maybe we got lucky. <clears throat> Maybe. All right. Maybe, maybe. Yeah. So, you see, the Muslims they said they said to me, the Christian prince is lying about chapter nine, verse number thirty-one. Now, I found this website. I think this is the website we are talking about. The reason I want this website <clears throat> because this website, when you move your mouse over the words, it a show translation. Hold on. I will put it for you on the screen in a second. Um, all right. Sitting. Set language. Set tra choose a translation. Okay, so here international. All right. Okay. So let me show you. So the Muslim, they say, he is lying to you. This is their website. This is Quran.com. This is a chapter 9, verse number 31. All oh, what you need to do, you move your mouse over the word. And it's going to show you the translation in English. So they say the Christian prince is lying. It doesn't say, and this is my translation again. They took a they took their rabbis and their monks as gods. Instead of Allah and the Messiah. <laughs> they say I'm lying, it's in front of you. Do you see it? Let us do it again. This is my translation. They took their rabbis and their monks as God instead of Allah and the Messiah, the son of Mary. They say Christian prince is lying, doesn't say that. Let's go it again. They took, is the text clear for you guys? I hope the text is clear. You see it? They have taken, this is the most, I'm just moving the, the, the mouse over the word. You just hover it over it. They took their monks, their rabbi, sorry, and their monks as gods, Beside, I mean, doing all of it is be like instead of Allah and the Messiah. Do you see it? <laughs> they took their monks and rabbi as God instead of Allah and the Messiah. Can I say say more? I mean, what I can say more? All what you need to do, just move your mouse over the word and you will see this is exactly what I said and actually uh, look even the Muslim translation this is the link look here they're trying to fix the stupidity so what they did they added something is not in the Quran and they said and also but you see it's between two brackets which means not there do you see the bracket 
So they took their monks and, uh, and uh, as Lord. They took their rabbis and monks as Lord, as God. Beside Allah and the Messiah also is not there. That's why they put it between two brackets because they are trying to explain. Yes, it says that, but this is what it's meant. So there's no also there. And then they will try to say to you, oh, in the grammar, you know, here, he added like they took their monk and their rabbi and the Messiah instead of, but no, in Arabic, it's so clear. It says they took, you know, here it says, instead, beside Allah and the Messiah. The followers of CP is 39,000. No, my friend, I have tons of thousands in the other account. This is a small account I'm using temporarily. And you are a potato. This is an account I'm using for fun. My other account is the Arabian Prophet. If I show you how many I have there, you will faint. And what, what's wrong with 39,000? Your Prophet, he have 70 after more than 20 years preaching his uh, uh, 10 years in Mecca. 70 only. Half of them is his wives and his slaves. I open my my program I have I have almost a thousand listening without even telling them guys how long I, I I how long you waited for me before I go I just make it 15 minutes after 20 minutes after I'm here right here we go I have 846 how many people left Islam in the last week people somebody is counting the numbers life on air life on air the Lord he blessed us this year from the first day, from the first day in the year, we are blessed with more people leaving Islam. So almost every day, almost, we have one or two leaving Islam. Life on air. This is not the ones I talk even in private, which we don't count because they don't want to talk about it. They don't want anyone. Uh, and for me, my friend, at the end of the day, if you want to see how many people subscribe to me, you will be surprised. Because my videos is not in my channel. Don't you notice I keep deleting my videos? And look now what you would do. You will make more Christians subscribe just because you said that. If I search my videos, where I find them? I find them in YouTube, but not in my channel. Look, I just search, little search. Okay. 579,000. 90% of them are Indonesian Muslims. 119,000. 233,000. 363,000. 74,000. This is the Muslim making videos about me. This guy, he, by the way, he promised me five, four or five uh, BM. How many cars, guys, he promised me? He died before he gave me the cars. I got him busted. He said, if a Christian prince can answer them, you know. So when you talk about how many, I mean, how many? As you see, I have my videos is all overrun by many. I mean, I, I don't have my videos. People download my videos and a lot of people watch it this one 444 I like 444 444 K one year ago 107 thousand the one I have low number is the one made by Muslims 21 thousand 476 thousand What I shall say, I mean, 5 BMW. <laughs> so when a Muslim, he talk about like, you know, I don't keep my videos. I don't even keep my channel. I have many channels. And look, here we go. Actually, this is the video he promised me 5 BM cars. 
And look, he put actually he got a PM car in the in the in, in the in the picture. Look, 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 look. Christian Prince, uh, and the funny he challenged me, and he did not even make the title in English, so I will not know about it. You know, have you ever heard of somebody challenging somebody? He don't make the title in English, so I will understand this is for me. Five BMW. Why I have four wives. What I would do with the fifth? One for the mother-in-law. I will marry four sisters. <clears throat> he promised me five BMW if I can answer him. And then I got him busted with no mercy. Go watch it. I have an offer for the Muslims. Who is the one is willing to call me and debate me right now? And we will get the five cars from this guy. Give it to you. I will I will sign it for you. I mean five BMW. BMW is the worst car to buy. It's expensive to fix. Most of it is became, is made from plastic. Uh, suck a lot of gas. Uh, maintenance is so high. Even like not fix just to maintenance is so high. I mean, so what what I would do with this car? I and mean, give me something useful. BMW. And now he is dead. Now he is he is having fun with the versions. A lot of versions are waiting for him. <clears throat> How many versions are waiting for for you? Uh, look look at this guy. This guy from Nigeria. He wanted to debate me. Look what happened to him. Six hundred sixty-two thousand. <laughs> look at the other guy. Uh, Muslim uh, Indonesia Mimi Mina Gan Khan debate uh, Christian Prince. So the translation is Muslim from Indonesia debating Christian Prince. Thank you very much. You see how good my Indonesian language? Seven hundred twenty thousand K view. Huh? Yeah, look at this. What I can say, my friend. I look at the BMW video. This time is white. Yeah. <clears throat> anyway, uh, my friend, we don't measure. You know, we don't measure our success. Uh, you know, for me, for sure, I get upset if I see a low view, especially for certain videos, like now the video we mentioned about the spider, right? Why? Because I want people to learn. It's not about, you see, I don't use my name. I don't use my picture. I don't go in video. So I'm not good in anything of like, uh, you know, here we go. My videos in different channels. I don't even keep them here. So the one who get the publicity is your channel, not my channel. But what I care for is how many people learning the truth. This is what we care for. We want as many people to learn. This video here, let me translate this video. Look how I look good, by the way. I mean, look, I have a mustache in the mask. Uh, Sang uh, P. Murtad, uh, this is like an ex Muslim, Muslim Indonesia, young uh, Sindang viral, like the video went viral, okay? Uh, you see how good I am my trans. I mean, I, I told you I know many languages. I speak many languages, you know? Yeah. How many of you? 907,000. This is a million, almost. A million Indonesian. A million Muslim. Are you there, Abdul? Even Muslims, they wrote article about me in Indonesian, uh, you know, uh, magazines and newspaper. They were saying, where is this? Where is the Ustad? Where is the Ustad? This guy is destroying uh, Islam and he is, nobody want to debate him. Where is the Ustad? And he's right. Where is the Ustad? You no, know, I speak Indonesian, you know, fluently, but you know, I'm, because I'm very humble, I don't like to show off. I speak all many languages. You know, 
Yeah. <clears throat> uh, what I can say? What we can say? Actually, even Allah, he taught me the language of the birds. Let me show you. I know, I know, you are astonished about how many languages I speak now. And here we go, I gave you a clear proof. And what you can do about it, I mean, that's it. There's, there's people are connected to Allah. As you know, I'm an Arab, and I have connection, you know? So I ask Allah, I said, Allah, teach me the language of the birds. I woke up in the morning, I start saying this. German is very easy. I mean, just add ash, something extra, anything. You are speaking German. Don't worry about it. Chinese, I'm like I'm 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 like a like a bird in Chinese. Unbelievable. Like chim ho he ho ha. My eye. Okay. So I mean, it's very easy. Language is very easy. Prophet Muhammad is best example. You know. Now, is that is that a Muslim website or this is a Christian website? I mean, this channel. Tarang Dalim Gilap. Muslim Indonesian Bakar Islam Agar Berani Berdebate Dangjin Christian. Christian Prince is me. This is me. Okay. You see, I told you I know languages. Like here we go. I was able to find that this is about me. Unbelievable. It's, I mean, how I can, how I know. I mean, do you see how, like, how smart? Look. How in the world I know that this video is about me? It's impossible. I mean, think about it. It's like a it's inspiration of Zabril. I don't speak the language yet. I know that like they are talking about me. So is that a is that a Christian channel? Uh, it's a Christian. Four hundred thirty-six thousand. Oh, okay. I mean, and uh, and actually, the, the the funny is the graphic. You know, the graphic you guys you do in those channels. <laughs> I, I like the graphic. I'm not good in the graphic. <laughs> Two hundred sixty-three, Christian Prince Muhammad the Antichrist. Okay, sixteen thousand. Oh, this guy is not getting lucky I, because you have no graphic. See, you have to add a graphic in the front. No graphic. No no customers. You know, human beings are really funny. I mean, people they click just because of the graphic. Shouldn't you? Uh, Anyway, a graphic. Yeah, you see, you put a graphic, 127,000, 432,000, uh, 194,000, etc. Uh, where is the news website? Actually, I think it's posted in the Arabian Prophet account. You can go there and check it out. I think I still have it in the, in the Arabian Prophet post. Yeah, actually, it's not. I don't know. You know, as, uh, some people they send me the link, and I use Google Translation piece upon him uh, to translate it. Right? <clears throat> but I'm sure Indonesian people here they can help you. Yeah. So anyway, do we have any Muslim? You see, I don't want scars of Islam to become tuna or become sardine. I want Christians first to learn how to answer, how to refute, and how to save as many Muslims as we can. We don't hate the Muslims. We are not against them. We are supporting them. What we do is to support them, not the opposite. We are not here to fight with the Muslims. We are here to fight for them, to save them. So, you know, we try our best to teach Christians first how to answer, how to refute. So your child will not be misled. They cannot fool you with their words and their videos and their graphic 
and they make like videos look like scientific and science and the Quran so the biggest target is first you will not be deceived they cannot lie to you or your children in the same time you get the tools to convince Muslims that Islam is false this is not about me this is not about you this is about loving the Muslims and helping them if you love somebody you don't sit watching him to go and go into hell doesn't matter who is that person you cannot claim that you love someone and you want him to go to hell so because we follow Jesus because we obey his command and yes sometimes we commit sin none of us is perfect sometimes we disobey the command sometimes we are not uh, I mean it's it's not easy to be following Christ you see like Muhammad he says silly stuff like you know if you say the word Bismillah 100 times you go to heaven what is that with the Christ the mission is long and it's hard for he want the highest of us to come out he don't want the lowest when I talk about the highest I'm not talking about how rich or even how smart he want the highest in his decency the highest in his qualification as a good-hearted person a person who love others a, a person who don't pray for death of others so the highest of us will be close to him not highest in knowledge not highest what if someone he don't know much about Christ but he love Christ and he believe in him and he is very wonderful person yet he's a farmer he don't even know how to read that person is more close to the Lord than someone have a PhD when it's come to Muhammad Muhammad he come with all fancy silly stuff if you say a certain word 100 times you go to heaven how that can be while Jesus says it's not the one who says to me Lord Lord will go to the kingdom of my father but the one who do his will so while Jesus saying you cannot be a hypocrite saying words to me you cannot fool me Muhammad saying you can be as liar as you want as sinner as you want as filthy as you want just say subhanallah even if your sin is more than the form of the ocean imagine just say a sentence 100 times how that can be from God and here you notice that the Messiah is one billion degree the opposite of Muhammad Muhammad he made going to heaven is a joke I mean how that will make me a good person by saying subhanallah 100 times any Muslim can tell us even if my sin is more than the form of the sea this is from God this is God teaching Muhammad that read carefully Allah messenger said who whoever says subhanallah wa bismillah praise be to Allah and in the name of Allah or you know and I uh, thanks to Allah 100 time a day will be forgiven all his sin even if they were as much as form of the sea that's it I mean do you see how easy it is you go and you do all the madness in the world all the garbage you can accomplish at the end of the day you say subhanallah 100 times and you are done do you see the solution how this is can be from prophet 
Is this is a Sahih, authentic? Yes, this is Sahih Bukhari, as you see. Hey, listen, uh, if there is anyone here, Abdul, if you are cheating your wife, you know, and you know, like, you know, I mean, you know, like you have four wives till you want more, brother, don't worry. You go home before you enter the house, say, Alhamdulillah, wa Bismillah, Alhamdulillah, 100 times. And bingo. All what you did during that time is gone. Don't worry. You rob somebody, you rob a bank, you get a million dollars in your pocket, keep them. Because you just said, Subhanallah, Alhamdulillah. Hmm? I mean, what a, what, what a, what a wide trouser religion. I mean, this trouser fit anything in it. Flexible. Very flexible. That's it. Bismillah, Alhamdulillah. Honey, you were cheating on me. Bismillah, Alhamdulillah. Bismillah, Alhamdulillah. Bismillah. Honey, what, what are you doing? What you are saying? Bismillah, Alhamdulillah. Hold, hold on. I, before I answer you, I have. Bismillah, Alhamdulillah. Oh, actually, you know what? I will answer you and then I will say it because I have to lie. No, I did not cheat on you. What's wrong talking about? I love you. And then after that, he says, Bismillah, Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah, 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 Alhamdulillah. 100 times because that's it. Even the last lie he said to his wife is gone. Beautiful. Very beautiful. Oh, uh, this is what they call it open minded. <clears throat> Be open minded. Hmm? I mean, how open minded can be more than this? Even if the sin is more than the foam of the ocean. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, Allah, he put the, the very fix of every... I mean, Islam is just a con uh, like a collection of stupid things, what we can say. I hope I did not cough in the front of the microphone. If I did cough in the front of the microphone and I did bother you, give me five minutes because I have to say Subhanallah and Alhamdulillah 100 times. How many of you is upset from me or I did hurt you? I don't care how much I hurt you. I will say Subhanallah wa bihamdillah 100 times. Allah will take all the bad things I did to all of you. Like this. Bingo. It's gone. It take me less than three minutes, especially I'm an Arab. I can say it very fast. I don't know how many I said already. Can somebody can account for me? I mean, that's it. So how easy? Very flexible. I mean, washing dishes will take more time. That's it. Anyway. Uh, I was going to sneeze. <clears throat> oh, thank, thank God I did not sneeze. Because if I sneeze, the Muslim, they say that uh, Allah is happy now. Have you ever heard of a religion, the god of this religion, he likes teasing? And he hates Yanni? The messenger of Allah said, <clears throat> uh, let me show you which one. Ah, read this one, this is Al-Bukhari. The Prophet said, Allah loves sneezing, but dislike yawning. This is the only God in the universe. He loves sneezing. Corona is, a, is, is, a, is, is like, right now he is really happy. How many people sneeze because of a flu and Corona? You sneeze is from Allah. It's not because you have a flu or no, 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 no. It's from Allah. If you do yawning, huh? it's from shaitan. That's so good. The God of a sneezing. The sneezing God. He love. Like, you sneeze, the God like, oh, I love it, I love it, I love it. Do it more. Please do it more. <laughs> Chew! <laughs> I love it, I love it, I love it. <laughs> it's like a kid, you know, if you go in YouTube, you will find those uh, children. If you sneeze in the front of them, like, you, Chew! And like, the, the, the boy will go like so crazy. He's laughing like crazy. I mean, is, is Allah that boy? 
he go crazy for for sneezing and so if any of you sneeze and then praises Allah every Muslim who hear him uh, praising Allah has to say tasmeet to him <laughs> like there's a guy who say praise be to Allah and the other guy say tasmeet like I you know it's like a series like I you sneeze I say praise to Allah you say tasmeet alhamdulillah unbelievable and then but as regard the brother yeah this is look at the noise this is nuke this is making nuke here this is this is a proton a neutron nuclear this I mean this is deep but as regard yawning it is from Satan that's that's true don't use bad language in the chat otherwise we will block you my friend but as regard yawning it is from Satan so if one of you yawn he should try his best to stop it what why for when any one of you yawns shaitan laugh at him <laughs> muhammad as i know that your body yawn because you are tired it's a sign your body is giving you it's like a, the car have a have a light when the engine need uh, some repair you know you are tired what does this have to do with shaitan but listen here for sure the prophet he knew better than us yawning is from shaitan if your wife she is next to you now and she is yawning shaitan is in her mouth actually in different in different hadith muhammad he said it clearly that shaitan he jump in your mouth here we go so when a man says ah ah when yawning indeed a shaitan laugh from inside his opening if 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 look at this devil no wonder they call him the devil you are yawning and now he's taking advantage of your garage open door and what he do he jump inside your mouth and the poor you think what you are just yawning the Muslim they made an article about the Prophet. He uh, there's a guy. What's his name? Sabil Ahmad. This is potato. You know, remember Sabil Ahmad? Hey, you know the guy like you speak like a girl. Uh, he spoke about uh, Corona, the hygiene of a Prophet of Allah. He'd order us to cover our, our mouth. He would not say to you, "Cover your mouth," because Shaitan would jump inside them. Not because of Corona. Why? Why you cut the Hadith? They made an article about it. They make it science. The prophet, he says, cover your mouth. Science says that when somebody, he yawn or he sneeze, uh, uh, like uh, a lot of saliva will go in the air. And, but this is just, about, this is about fiction. Look, this is shaitan jump inside your mouth. What does this have to do with this? Oh. <clears throat> All right. And look here, guys. Here the story is upside down. Abi Thabit he quoted from his father saying that his grandfather traced the following back to the prophets saying, sneezing, drowsing, yawning during the prayer, also menstruation, vomiting, nose bleeding come from the devil. Like what? But you just said Allah, he loves sneezing. Do you see it? Is it a second ago Muhammad he said sneezing Allah loves sneezing now sneezing from shaitan and look look at the list sneezing drowsing yawning during the prayer all those things and also ministration women they have ministration this is from shaitan how many women here in the chat Women, I have bad news for you. Your menstruation is from Satan. I know you are disappointed, but somebody have to tell you the truth. 
It's time to face the truth face to face. I know you are upset now. Take it easy. Take relax. Sit down. Sit down. Hey, women, just wait. Uh oh, I made them angry. Uh, ladies, okay, hold on. <clears throat> oh boy. I mean, I should be smarter. I didn't. I wasn't thinking. <clears throat> ladies, okay, hold on. Don't uh, please keep your nails. Okay, keep your nails far away. All right. I mean, I, I I am just a messenger telling you what the prophet said. You know, like uh, <coughs> oh boy, I know that you know women are dangerous. You know, like I think it's time to go. I mean, oh boy, look what's happening. Okay, I, you know what? I, I forget about this hadith as if I said nothing. I said nothing. You know, I mean, uh, you heard wrong. I, actually, this is like uh, uh, somebody that ha ha hacked my microphone. All right? Administration is not from Satan. Okay? It's uh, it's not me who said that. Yeah, what? Look at this. Oh, boy. What is that? And you wonder why men are not getting married? I mean, what is that? <laughs> what? <laughs> like what? <laughs> you, really? <laughs> okay, we go back to the hadith. Forget about it now. So, sisters, Alhamdulillah, sisters, that's you. You are very uh, like uh, you understood me, and you did not take me for uh, as a victim for this. I mean, thank God my neck is safe until now from the ladies here. You know, forget about the mystery sense anything. For, I, I, I'm going. I'm going to. Uh, okay, I'm going to uh, use some uh, makeup here. Hold on, I will use makeup from the nail stuff. What they call that thing for the makeup, the nail. Okay, hold on, hold on. Uh, <clears throat> So this way you will not be upset, okay? Okay, here we go. This one is gone. All right, are you happy now? I mean, come on, just put your nails inside the, you know, I mean, come on. I mean, everybody will make mistakes, like, okay, you know? Shouldn't we be forgiven? Unbelievable. Never made a uh, woman uh, angry. You know what will happen. You know what is coming next. So we, you know, we, we, we take it off. We corrupted the hadith now. The hadith, we corrupted. See, we took it off. The Muslims now will be upset from me. He is corrupting the hadith of the Prophet. Muslims, ministration from the devil. Why? Who is the one who created women? God or the devil? Even ministration is from the devil. Who, how, how many of you have my books, Sex and Allah? If you have my book, Sex and Allah, you will find that Muhammad explained why women, they have their period. Anyone remember what is in my book? <coughs> Who remember? Why women, they have ministration? No, no one did read it. Nobody here. We have thousand people here. Nobody read it. Okay, in my book you will find that in the time of Adam, the people of Adam, like right after Adam and Noah, you know his childrens, women they start having mixed party, like men and women party, like ha ha ha, you know party. So Allah, He punished the women. And he made them in the beginning. They used to have one one time a year menstruation. But then, when they start having this party, mixed party, Allah He made the women have menstruation every month. I 
I mean, how Muhammad he knew this? We have to be, you have to think about it. Hmm. Yeah, you still have to buy it, what I can do. Maybe somebody have to pay for my bills. I can't give everything for free. <laughs> People, they want everything for free. And the poor Christian prince, uh, okay, you know, unbelievable. Yeah, you have money to, to do your nails, right? But you don't have money to buy my book. Unbelievable. <laughs> anyway, do we have any uh, Muhammadan have anything to say? Who is a Muhammadan? He believe in this. That is sneezing, drowsing, yawning during the prayer and also menstruation, voting and nose, nose bleeding from the devil. That's so good. So beautiful. Knowledge, this is pure knowledge. I mean, who can who can come to you with such a knowledge, say of Prophet of Allah? Nobody. You have to be highly educated, highly connected to God, and highly informed. And Muhammad have all those things together. <clears throat> oh. yeah look at this look how many Allah likes sneezing Allah dislikes yawning Allah likes sneezing Allah dislikes yawning you know but once in the impal talk I open a chat room it's called let us sneeze for the sake of Allah I mean what's wrong with that the Muslim they went to pal talk company and they reported my chat room saying this guy is making fun of Allah I mean what's wrong with you the Prophet said we did nothing people they take the microphone and they sneeze as long Allah he likes sneezing and we Allah he loves sneezing not only he like it he love it don't you want to spoil Allah for some time so I open a chat it says let us sneeze for the sake of Allah who is a Muslims? I'm thinking to make donation website for sneezing, like people they donate sneezing to Allah. Like, you know, like we make like a, a new movement, sneeze for the sake of Allah. You know, and then Allah is so happy and so ex that's amazing. You know, Allah He loves sneezing and Allah He loves those who sneeze, and Allah dislike yawning. How many people in the world do not know that what hurt Allah? Allah now get hurt when you sneeze. When sorry, when you yawn. You help Allah emotionally when you sneeze. And if you are a woman and you have menstruation, you better stop it because this is from shaitan, as you see. Hmm. You have to do something to stop those stuff. <clears throat> All right, I think we have enough for today. Uh, tomorrow I might go at night, maybe, I'm not sure, uh, because tomorrow I have a long day. I might be really tired. Um, as you know, I have four wives and I have four mother in law. And, uh, uh, you know, 60 kids it's not easy and all of them they sneeze because of the flu these days you know so like <clears throat> i mean we have a sneezing uh, barbecue tomorrow all right and we have a big sign it says no yawning is allowed if you yawn we we, we fire you right away we kick you out this is yawning free zone sneezing is welcome Yawning is haram. We have to be, and you have to be, you have to be strong, you know, in the rules. You have to explain to people because people are ignorant. Imagine you have like a, a you know, a group of people, you know, and then what? You start yawning, <laughs> you know, you you know, you will destroy our group now. Allah, He will hate us. We cannot do that. We have to do yawning as uh, we have to do sneezing. Sorry, as much as we can. By the way, I I saw in the videos Zakir Naik he was sneezing. 
I never saw him yawning. See? Yeah. Anything the Muslim don't like, they say it is daif. But as you see, this is not daif. Here we go. Sahih. This is Sahih. But by the miracle of the YouTuber and the Muslim YouTubers, they will make a dive. <laughs> anyway, guys, I think it's time to go. I want to say thank you for very much for being here. Again, uh, still the video about the spider. Not many of you watch it. So now we have three videos. I'm going to hide it. This one I just did. I will hide it too. Why? Because we don't have enough people watch that video. I want really that, that that video is very important. It shows you how Muhammad he steal word by word from fiction stories and he claimed them for himself. So I want to say thank you guys for being here. Again, tomorrow I might not come because I will be super busy. If I can come, I will come at night like now, like I, as we started today earlier, not now. I mean, three hours maybe from uh, earlier. But if I can, but if if not, then until maybe Monday. So I want to say thank you. May the Lord bless you. And uh, Lord have mercy. Our enemy is not the people. Our enemy is ignorance. Fight ignorance. Fight stupidity. Support knowledge. Support education. Don't let ignorance take over. People die because of ignorance. The Bible says my nation being destroyed because of their ignorance. And this is true. People die because of diseases because they don't know how to solve the problem, how to fight the disease. Ignorance. People die because of mistakes they do which is based on ignorance. People get killed, people get scammed, people get etc. because of ignorance. People will go to hell because of ignorance. With the Lord, with the Messiah, ignorance will die and knowledge will live. This is why the, the Lord, he said, search the books. He order you to search, to read. Find the truth and the truth will set you free. And he said, I am the truth. I am the door. So my friend, if you are a Muslim and you are listening, if anything Muhammad for you is convincing, let me know and be honest with yourself. You know very well that nothing there can be from God. Saying Bismillah, Alhamdulillah, this is silly. There's no way a prophet or God will say such a thing. Sneezing from the devil, sorry, from Allah and yawning from the devil, this is, this is stupid. And you are smarter than that. Think, use your brain. God, he gave you a brain. If you don't lose it, use it, you will lose it. And this is what happened to many. Thank you. God bless and see you soon again. Take care.